Hello friends, today I will show you how to install Ubuntu operating system inside Windows without hampering the main operating system. For that, you need an image file of Ubuntu operating system and a software known as VirtualBox. Those files, the download link of those files are in the description. You can download this file from those links. Okay, first of all, we need to install the VirtualBox software on your PC. I have already done, so I am just skipping it. Open the VirtualBox, and here you can see a new option. Click on that and name the operating system. It is Ubuntu. The type should be Linux and the version should be 64 bit. Click on next and allocate the memory space you want to give. I am giving it 1 GB of memory space. Now click on the next button. Create and type should be VDI. And I am fixing the uh, physical hard disk space. I am giving it 12 GB of hard disk space. Now click on create. It will take some time so I am just keeping it. It's almost done. Just wait for it. Okay. It's done. Now right click on this Ubuntu and go to settings. Here go to storage and click on the empty disk icon and choose the image file of that Ubuntu operating system click on open ok now click on the start button it will boot up the Ubuntu operating system just wait for a moment Okay, now click on the install Ubuntu button. Now check this option and click on continue. Now click on install now. Continue. Now select the time zone here to India. Continue. The keyboard level is English US. Let's continue. Now name the username. I am giving it Sun. The computer name is automatically selected as Sun Virtual Box. You can edit it. Now so give a password 1234. I am just giving it randomly. Now the installer will install all the packages. It will take some time, around 10 to 15 minutes. So you, you should wait for the completion of the process. I'm just skipping the video. Okay, now when it is done, a message will pop up to restart the system. Just click on that restart now button. Now close the window and click on power of the machine and OK. 
now start it again Okay, now Ubuntu is successfully installed on virtual machine. Just I am going to log in, entering the password. As I am giving the RAM and the hard disk space is very low so that the OS will run a little bit slow. Here it is. Now I am going to show you the computer name through terminal. Here it is terminal. Here you can see the computer name is Sun Virtual Box. So it is the easiest way to install an operating system without overwriting the existing operating system. You can run it anytime by just clicking that start button or double click on it. Thank you very much for watching our video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.